الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث نمبر 20 أو سوري لسن نمبر 20 كفارة المجلس كفارة المجلس كفارة كفارة المجلس كفارة We're not doing that one yet. We're doing this one here at the top. Oh. That one is when you are scared. What should you say? So there's a bomb in front of you. <laughs> I don't know who made that. Anyway, forget that. Let's do this one here. Kafara to majlis. Kafara. This word here, kafara, means. Um, no, 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 no. Kafara means uh, how to get Allah's forgiveness. So now, sometimes if you do something wrong, you say Astaghfirullah, you say Tawbah, mm -hmm. but sometimes you need to give a kafara. Oh, kafara. Yeah. What's a majlis? I don't know. Come on, what's a majlis? Uh, majlis. You guys are from Saudi, man. Majlis. majlis. When you sit up. Yeah, when you're sitting on something, exactly. So kafara to majlis. Everyone Shit. gathers. You're going to gather with your friends. You're going to gather with your family. And people will often say things which are not good. It's going to happen. I know. So, from our beautiful religion, is that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us a kafar to majlis. And if you say it, whatever was said, whatever was done, inshallah Allah will wipe that out. And it, as if it didn't happen. But also in the same hadith, this is a hadith in Tirmidhi, also in the same hadith, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if there is anything good in the majlis, just like this, this is a majlis, we are gathering, we are talking about something. If there is anything good in the majlis and you say this dua that we're going to do right now, all of the good deeds and all of the blessings will be secured for you and it will not be lost. Like a da'wah. Could be. The majlis could be da'wah. The majlis could be Qur'an. And this is something we're going to discuss now. When people finish reciting the Qur'an, often they just close the Qur'an and walk away. Some people they say, Sadaqallahu al-Azim. Some people do that. But this is what a person should do. This is also a hadith of Aisha radiallahu anha. She said that the Messenger of Allah used to say this thing when finishing reciting the Qur'an. This thing when he is leaving the, the gathering. So if you are gathering with your friends, if you are gathering in your classroom, if there is an assembly, if you are just chilling with your mates and you want to go home, Say this because if anyone said anything bad or did anything bad, Allah will forgive them of their sin. And if anyone did anything good, that reward will be sealed and locked, and it will be ready for him. Yom Al inshallah. Right. Before we look at the hadith, let's admire the artistry. Yay! Yeah. So we've artistry. got we've got a classroom. I'm guessing this is a masjid. So there's the classroom with the market. Right. Go on then. Let's talk. So, this is the whiteboard. And here are all the pens. Mm -hmm. Now, what's that boy doing? That boy is is, is uh, revising this Quran. It looks like he's got a popcorn with him. No, what's that that's there? his lunch. Oh, okay. And that's his water. Mashallah. Now he is oh, teddy yeah. bear kid. Teddy bear kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's three so, years old. So, so who's he's that? got a bigger chair. But because he's younger, he's got a smaller Right. So chair. who's that man? So that guy's gonna go to the toilet. Ah. This guy. This so, yeah, Get with respect, check. don't call Ustad. him a guy. Whoever you're talking about, when anyone you're talking about older, you do not call them guy. You don't call them man. You say uncle or auntie or ustad or sheikh or whatever. Now, David, kids gotta go to the mm. toilet. So, ustad, like, hey, say to my uncle, and what is okay. what are you doing? Natub is we what? seek um, Atub. Atub. This is us. Well done. That's not bad. Yeah. Good effort. And right. Okay. Okay. He's going to the toilet. We got that. Right. Okay. So now, after any sitting, say Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Repeat after me. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu. Wa atubu. Astaghfiruka wa atubu. I think you guys can memorize this. I think it's quite easy for us to memorize. You should do this when you are leaving, when you have finished Quran, when you have finished school, when you have finished any kind of gathering. Because if there's anything that was being said out of mistake, or you made something, you know, you did something wrong to harm someone or, or something like that, then inshallah the sin will be forgiven as if it didn't happen. 
And if you did anything good, it would be secured for you, your Mokiyam, inshallah. But, 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 there's a really big but here. Listen, if you are sitting and you are doing something which is really bad, then this dua is not going to change the fact that you've done something wrong. So imagine you're sitting in your classroom and you're teasing another person. Or you're making ghiba. Ghiba is when you're backbiting. Or when you are lying. Or when people are swearing. Or if people are stealing. Or something like that. This kafarat al majlis is not going to change that. The kafarat al majlis is not going to. For that, you need to do tawbah and istikhar. This is because this is a major sin. And some major sins include the rights of other people. And if you've taken something or done something to harm someone, you have to ask them to say, you have to say sorry to them as well. So if somebody did something to you or stole something from you, they have to come to you and say, Muhammad, I'm sorry I punched you in the face by accident. I made you no seed. I'm very sorry. That's part of his toba. That's part of his toba. I'm sorry I took this robbery thing without asking for your permission. Please forgive me. And then they need to make a istighfar and toba to Allah. But if there's anything being said out of mistake or, you know, something you didn't mean it, but it's still wrong here, this dua will help you. The Messenger of Allah said, There will be people, Yom al Qiyamah, they will come and they will be in a great sense of um, sadness, regret. And he said, وسلم, This is because they used to sit with one another and they never used to remember Allah, not at all. Even though they're Muslim. Even though they're Muslim. Any gathering which doesn't have the remembrance of Allah, Yom al Qiyamah, it's going to be a, a cause of regret for them. They're going to, they're going to think, oh, why, why did I do that? So what this dua also teaches us is the importance of making sure that we find ourselves in good places, doing good things with good people. Right, let's say the dua once more. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi. Okay, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. We do this with Quran, we can do this now as well. Let's split it up, okay? So subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi, first bit. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant, next bit. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. And you do it, that should be easy. Right. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi. What does Subhanallah mean? No, 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 no. Oh, my feet, Allah. Subhanallah means how perfect are you, Allah. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Hamdik. Hamdillah. Hamdillah. Praise and thanks to Allah. So now, how perfect are you, Allah? Thank you, Allah. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, uh, that's the second kalima. What does it mean? Ashhadu uh, Allah ilaha illa I, I bear witness that, that, that there is, is no God, God worthy of worship except you, Allah. Astaghfiruk. Astaghfirullah. Yeah. Uh, forgive me. Forgive me, Allah. Wa atubu ilayk. It's the same thing, but with Toba, you are wanting to get closer to Allah. Right. Who can repeat it for me? Let's go. Let's go with small kid. Let's go with small kid. Yeah, go on. All right, then go on. Go on then. Rock, paper, scissors. Quickly. Quickly. People are waiting. Quickly. 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 Rock, paper. Papers. Okay. Sorry, Vince. Go. Go on. I should. Wait. No, no, no. Subhana. 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 Allahumma. And hopefully the people at home should be practicing as well. You, small kid. Uh, uh, Okay, so now with this, you should do this after every majlis. This is a majlis, so we're going to do it now as well. Yay. After you finish Quran, any kind of gathering, any yes, and after food as well. Maybe when you're sitting, when you're gathering, when you're talking after you food. Quran, exactly, said, exactly, exactly. Quran. Oh Allah, help us to remember you in the best Amen. possible manner and be pleased with us. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika shadu wa la ilaha illa anda astaghfirullah. Assalamu alaikum.